Thank it's you, a Jack. Peter Rowe over uh, here. <laughs> Pete and Pete. Uh, or Pete and Reed Pete, I guess. So the jokes could go on. Thank go you. ahead. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so there are some reports that FEMA is now planning to reroute up to $10 billion in money that could be used to combat COVID-19 right now to preemptively combat climate change by building uh, seawalls and elevating flood-prone homes. And I'm curious if there has been any thought given to waiting until COVID is behind us to do that. Uh, Peter, I, ha I had not actually seen that report before we came out here. As you know, and I'll just repeat, um, the president's first priority is getting the pandemic under control and doing everything needed, putting all of the necessary resources behind that. But I'm happy to circle back with our team on that specific report. And another question, uh, the president says that he hopes that the Senate leadership can continue, uh, can do the Senate impeachment trial while working on the people's business. What if they can't? Well, as, as president, you always have to be hopeful, of course. Um, that's your role as a leader, to push and push leaders, push Democrats and Republicans to make more progress. But, you know, I think what the president will continue to do privately in his conversations with members of Congress, Democrats and Republicans, and publicly, is make the case for the cost of inaction. Uh, and uh, I think he doesn't feel that uh, the Democrats and Republicans in Congress uh, have the, the, the space and the time to wait, um, that there's an urgency that the American people are going to continue to push uh, members who are representing them on. And so I don't think he ha feels there's an alternative other than to them to move forward with urgency. And then just one more. The riots in Portland and the violence in Portland mm -hmm. recently, uh, there was some discussion earlier about the January 6th rioters being reviewed by the DNI as domestic violent extremists. Are the rioters in Portland also being viewed through the same lens, or is that something different as the White House sees I it? think we, you and I talked about this yesterday and conveyed that uh, all violence happening around the country will be reviewed as a part of the, uh, the tasking that was done by the national security team, but I don't have anything to preview on it. Cecilia. I'm going to say a few things about this press conference, but first, give me just 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer from Virtual Shield VPN. Their suggestions that our credit scores might be based on our internet history in the near future. The same way that banks use data like income to judge credit eligibility now is how websites could use internet search history in the near future. I will not let my internet history be the judge of my credit score. That's why I use Virtual Shield. Just go to the link in the description and pin comment and get Virtual Virtual Shield for 50% off today. Hey everybody, Drone Tech here. Just wanted to say a couple things about this exchange real quick. It's pretty much going to end up exactly like we thought. It's the double standards that we've all become quite used to. BLM and Antifa will never be held to the same standards as our side, even though for our side to riot or fight with police is exceptionally rare, while it's ultra common on the left. Now, you may see some crackdowns on the rioting from BLM and Antifa, but they'll do it quietly. And what you'll never see is the media or these press conferences you'll never see these people trying to attach this violence to the Democrat Party. If anything, they'll try to downplay it and justify it. When these people roll into residential neighborhoods and then begin threatening people there based on their skin color, claiming that protests aren't supposed to be peaceful, they're getting that straight from networks like CNN and from the Democrat Party. If you didn't see it, make sure to check out Rand Paul's rant yesterday. He listed several excellent examples of violence coming from the left and how Democrats and the media incited it. Anyway, I'll be digging more into this topic in future videos. I do want to tell you all that you should come and follow me on alternate platforms like BitChute, CloudHub, Gab, and Rumble. You can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.